Hello and welcome my beautiful friends, how you doing today? If you guys didn't know, Iron Range just got an update, which is pretty exciting for a lot of people. Uh, so I'm doing the hero reviews as the last thing that I'm doing. I've actually already beaten all the levels, but I want to make sure I showed you guys these videos first. So I've already got them all done. Um, I haven't actually rendered them and everything, but got them all done, so that's good. That means I got to test out the heroes a little bit in my gameplay. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be playing, uh, I'm going to show off and talk about, hopefully I pronounced this correctly, Gu Ying, or Guing, I think Guing sounds better, but I'm going to call her Gu Ying, because it just sounds more Chinese or, or Asian. She, she honestly, she's, she's got to be a freaking Asian person, right? Dragons, she's got the, the Chinese looking like blade thing that the Chinese people always have in all those movies, so yeah, definitely Chinese, um, and... Gu Ying sounds Chinese, so that's what we're going with. Maybe I'm racist. Anyways, we have uh, uh, three upgrades here. Uh, the first one's obviously... Uh, it's called Stellar Dragon. It, it's it's probably the worst upgrade. It's not horrible, but it's just kind of bad overall, I'd say. I feel like the randomness of it doesn't really help out all that much. Um, it, it's okay, but just not all that useful. Uh, basically what it does is it has like these little magic dragon things kind of pop out of the ground a little bit and uh, hurt the guys just a little bit it seems like. And uh, then once you get a little bit higher up, it slows down the enemies up to silver upgrade. And for gold, it makes uh, Guying's attack deal extra damage while the power is active. So the, the power does actually stay active for a pretty reasonably long time. So uh, that's probably the best thing about this upgrade, just that you do extra damage while this is happening. And she can do a lot of freaking damage if she's just chopping and shooting and doing all these weird things. Uh, moving on to the next upgrade, we've got Confusion, which I think is her main good upgrade, right? What she does is uh, makes it so she makes uh, clones of herself, kind of. Uh, these blue clones that shoot out magic beams at everything. They can end up dying, but they can also tank damage from the enemies. So the way she does it is she kind of like scoots backwards a little bit and makes this thing. So obviously it's going to keep her protected a little bit by scooting backwards. Um... Once you get up to higher, it says uh, replicas produce an area damage burst when created. So every time she's like shooting, you know, moving backwards a little bit, she's making an area burst damage, which is pretty darn cool. And then even on the top of that, man, dashing decoy. Well, Gu Ying dashes an additional replica uh, dashes as well. So uh, basically, she's just making a crap ton of guys. Confusing part about confusion is it doesn't really seem like there's an exact amount of um, replicas that she creates. Sometimes I get like four, sometimes I get like ten. I, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, or if I'm like not on the right spot, or I just am not in an open area, or what there's what's going on. But it doesn't seem like it's very consistent. Uh, and I've played with her you know, a pretty reasonable amount, so I, I just don't fully understand it yet. Um, but anyways, we'll show her off in the game in just a few seconds here, but oh, we got to talk about our last upgrade here, which is Cosmic Artifact. Of course, everybody's got their own, like, you know, base... Thing. This is her base suit. Um, so, let's read it really quick. The ancient relic turned out to be an alien item of unknown origin. The cosmic energy it harnesses gives Gu Ying superb health and lots of press attention. So when I first started playing with her, uh, it didn't really seem like she had all that much health, to be completely honest with you guys. But as I started to uh, test her out in some of the other, other game modes on um, uh, sort of regular difficulty levels. She turned out to be actually pretty decently healthed, I suppose. So definitely not a bad character um, as far as health is concerned. The only real problem is, is a lot of times you gotta get sort of close and, and personal, and a lot of the guys that are shooting missiles and random crap at you from like medium distances can be sort of difficult to take down. Um, once we get to Conduit, each time Gu Ying activates power, she recovers some health. So this is actually pretty sweet because uh, both of her abilities kind of come back pretty reasonably quick. So she can just recover. It's only a little bit of health, though. That's the problem. It's probably like 10%, 20% of her health or something like that. So it's only a tiny bit, and uh, it's not like a game-changer type of thing. Infused, Gu Ying's armor becomes ultra-resistant for 5 seconds after she uses a power. So this is kind of nice as well because it means that, honestly... It's not even about her abilities being all that good, it's about her being really good while her abilities are being used or uh, or just got used. So you want to time them kind of well. You want to use one of the abilities, wait like 5-10 seconds, and then use another ability and wait like 5-10 seconds, and then kind of just go back and heal up. And if you do that, you're going to end up doing really, really good with Gu Ying. 
Um, so that's it for uh, talking about her. Let's go into a game over here. Now, I usually play In Search and Rescue. I'm playing on Veteran right now. I think that's what I used to play on back in the day uh, in all my hero reviews. So hopefully we can give a good representation of how good she actually is. But usually what I do is I just take over the first base a little bit and uh, you know see how fast we can do it and see how well we do that. And I sort of just call it a day. But I'm going to take her in a little bit further uh, and actually go into the enemy's like kind of hardcore side of the base and see how fast we can take that down as well. So let's pop in here. First of all, just looking at her. She's really oh, cool looking. Daughter. You know, if there's if the coolness factor of her is something that's uh, making you decide if you want to buy her or not, she's really cool looking. You know, I can't zoom in on her anymore. This is as far as I can zoom in. I can zoom out, but I can't zoom in. Um, did I go further in? I think I might have. Somehow let me in further. Okay, she's really cool looking. I really like the uh, little wavy uh, ribbon on her. You know, I wish I knew the name for that thing. It's almost like a spear, but it's really not. Um... Anyways, uh, she looks really cool, and the, I like the way she runs, too. If you look at her, how she runs, she's really fast, obviously, and she, uh, she, like, looks like she's running really low to the ground, like, uh, she's ready to kill something. She's got, uh, uh you know, if you notice, her, her spear thing actually attacks multiple enemies at once, so, uh... It's another bonus thing about her. Of course, she's got a hand attack as well, which is pretty strong against buildings and everything. Um, but the uh, I think the, the real thing that uh, impresses me the most is her multi-attack ranged shot. Uh, I don't think anybody else really has something like that. So that was pretty cool. So we're going to run her in here. Or we're going to run everybody in here, actually. Run everybody in. Just go, go, go. And I'm going to use my abilities. This is my Cosmic Dragon ability. She's going to kind of just run in the middle here. She healed up just a little bit. You can tell the dragons are sort of doing some damage to the guys around here. Um, not horrible, uh, but honestly, it's not as good as it seems. You know, right here, it worked out really, really well, but the, the dragons usually are a little bit more stupid and don't really work that well against ranged units and stuff. So that's where it kind of ends up losing some of its power. This is the cool upgrade, though. This is the confusion upgrade. I want to show this off really quick. Let's get on top of one of these guys. We're going to use the confusion. <coughs> so there we go. We're going to start bouncing around all over the place. We're going to make a bunch of copies of ourselves. And uh, obviously, they're doing uh, magic shots between everything. Of course, eventually, they run away or they get killed or defeated or whatever. And, uh, you know, you kind of run out of, out of health with them, I suppose. But anyways, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run over here. I'm going to kill this last little bubble. I'm going to use my uh, dragon ability if there's ever any guys. But I think what we can do is we can just drop this thing on them. I think I'm on freaking veteran. I hope I am. If not, I'm going to feel really bad. <laughs> uh, and then what I'm going to do is for my last thing, I'm actually going to run over here to the bottom. And I'm just going to see how well she can do against these guys. So we're just going to use our dragon, just right in the middle of everybody. We just healed up a little bit. We got a pretty decent defense. We're going to do extra attack damage because we just used our ability. Uh, obviously, we're doing some mega stuff. And look at that. She's not even dying very much at all. So she's destroying. Then we're going to use our confusion upgrade, and she's going to heal up a little bit and kind of just bounce around and kill some more extra guys. So by herself, she's basically taking down this entire level. Well, that's pretty gosh darn good if you ask me. So, uh, usually I give a, some sort of a rating on how good I think uh, each one of these heroes is. Um, and I've got to go with, like, a solid 8 on her. She's, she's not, like, un or maybe even 8.5. Um, she's good, especially for a $3 hero, man. I I would say she might be the, the best $3 hero of them all. So, we, <laughs> look at that, we actually got just got overwhelmed. I think our snipers are dead, too. Holy crap, look at all these guys, man. But, but watch this, though. Ba-boom! What the heck? Ba boom, ba boom. I gotta check to see if I'm cat. I'm on casual, cause otherwise she's way too freaking. She's way too freaking good if she's on veteran right now. Oh my god. We are on veteran difficulty. Holy crap! So she is good. <clears throat> um, super duper powerful. Obviously, those were just low low level worm gunners and everything, but um. We're annihilating everybody. So the highest rating I've given out of any of my heroes so far has been a 9, and that has been Mark X. And I would give her an 8.5. I think Mark X is probably just a little bit better, because he can he can shoot while he's moving, and he's got a... You know, you can pick him up and have him heal in, in, on the top, and he's the most expensive hero of them all. But I kind of want to see them side by side and see which one's actually better. Because Gu Ying is pretty darn delicious right now, okay? Um, 
and I actually do recommend her. Kind of opposite of what I was saying during during my other videos. You guys are going to see I actually don't really like her all that much in my, my videos. And I think it's because I'm playing Impossible on some new levels that are just way too freaking Way more difficult than I was used to at the time. Uh, anyways, if you guys did end up enjoying, make sure you press that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. And have a super duper delicious day.